Hi everyone, I want to give a view on uh, the Beyond Burger and the Beyond Burger, the media one, together in the same vlog. Even though, from what I understand, they're not making the original Beyond Meat Beyond Burger anymore. But I want to compare it in the same vlog and tell you, give my opinion on which one I feel is tastier. And I'm going to also give my opinion on um, another veggie burger in the same vlog called the Vegan White Castle Veggie Slider. Which you could see if you see the box or not. And give my opinion on that too. So I'm going to eat this one first, the White Castle one. I put this in a microwave for like one minute after defrosting it, because it seems like when I make defrost it for one for for an hour or so, and then um, you know put it in a microwave, that tasted my best to me. So I'm give my opinion on it and tell you what I feel is if, um, how good it is. So here it is. It tastes really, really good, and I think it's worth getting it. If you're vegan, if you're not vegan, it, I, I remember tasting the first time over. I did exactly what I just said. I left it out, let it defrost it, and I put it in for one minute, and it tasted good. Other times when I don't defrost it, I just throw it in the microwave for like two minutes. Don't. It tastes good, but it's not as good. But it's still good, you know, acceptable. I never put it in the oven before. I don't know how many I have, you know, how many boxes I bought in the past times I had maybe this is my 15th time of eating the the vegan white castle and but it's you know it's, it, it tastes real good and it smells like it's from out of white, white castle itself for some reason right now it don't smell like it's from white castle but at times it did like you know depend, I guess when you you know, making it in a microwave, it, that's when it tastes, you know, it, it uh, smells like from its White Castle, but it tastes like it's from my, not, it, it tastes like it's from White Castle, so like when you're eating something from White Castle, you know it's from White Castle, or it smells like it's from White Castle at times, right now it doesn't, the smell seems to fade away, but it's really good, you know, if it don't look, taste like meat, or it don't look like meat, so if this, this, this shouldn't turn you off, it's a really good a ve they called um, it's a veggie slider, but it's all vegan, so you can't go wrong. So this is what the inside looks like, for those that are interested. And I, I, it's I would you know I would say it's like from one to five stars. I would give it um, between three three quarter stars to four stars like that. It's, I would say it's really good. You can't go wrong with this. Just you just gotta make it just right. To say it's, it's it's most delicious. If you it could mess it up if you cook it too long or this. Now you and I never cooked it before. I only made it in the microwave. I would say it's really worth it. This is my evening water. Like I always show you my OV vlogs. This is the word I like most seems like. Now maybe there's other words I might like better, but I haven't tried them. Some words are more, you know, don't taste as good as others. I'm not going to name them. That's so far, that's my favorite other ones. I had, you know, other words I tried. Let me show you the box again before I finish with the um, veggie burger. This is where it is. I buy it in um, some store called Vigil, um, Village Farm. On... Um, Elliott Avenue in Miller Village. Maybe they have it somewhere else. I've never seen it nowhere else but over there. But if you look on their website, see, let me see if they got a website here. And I don't see a website. But it's somewhere in Long Island. There should be a website here. I don't see it, but I'm sure you could, if you look it up, you know, call Ve uh, Vegan White Castle Veggie Sliders, I'm sure it'll come up on a website somewhere. It'll tell you on the internet where to, you know, get it. But it's really worth getting it if, you know, for those who don't want to eat the Beyond, Beyond um, Burger because it tastes, you know, look like it looks like meat too much or it tastes like meat too much. And this is the thing to get. It tastes really good. 
They, I don't think White Castle even sells these, to tell you the truth. But um, they should sell them. They, I know they sell the Impossible Burger, if, if I'm right. So there's some, they sell some kind of a vegan burger, but not this one, I don't think. And this is the one they should sell. And cause not to, you know, not to um, cook the potty on the same grill as they put the, you know, the meat, the animal meat. It's good. Like you could put ketchup, mayonnaise, whatever you like, tomatoes, add things on it if you like. But it's so good if you make it just right. You don't really need it. Well, I don't need it, probably. And of course, it's going to complement it if you put a delicious tomato on it with some lettuce and so on. But I don't need, like, I'm going to eat these two Beyond Burgers. There's no ketchup, no mayonnaise, um, no lettuce, no tomatoes. And I'm just going to eat it like that. It was, done. It, was, it was done pretty good. I made it right this time. Sometimes I make it right, like I said, defo I don't mean defrost it. I just throw it in the microwave and it doesn't taste as good, but it's still acceptable. But I did exactly what I wanted to do for the relog today. I left it out for a little while. I think it was an hour or maybe more. And then I uh, just put microwave it for one minute and it came out good. And now these are the um, Beyond Meat Beyond Burgers. I'll show you what the box um, looks like. The cover, I mean, like, you know. So this is it, and this is what the, this is the one the box came to. I'll show you. That's the original one. And like I said, I don't, as far as I know, they're not making them anymore, but I'm gonna just tell you which one tastes good, tastes better. And I'm sure either one of them probably tastes just as good. And this is the new one. Now even media. And I'll show you what it looks like, uh, the new media one, which you probably already know, I mean, most of you. It really looks different, and you know this looks darker. Like when you before you cook, it looks more it's more brown. And this the Beyond Burger, the original one, I'll show you again. It looks like a pinkish thing before you cook it. And it you know, it tastes good too. I don't know why they don't why they stop making it. I mean, they said they wanted to make the cheaper version for more affordable for people. It doesn't it doesn't mean they should stop this one though. It's really good. I can't believe they did that. But here we go. I'm going to try to see which one's better. I mean, I, I basically know which one's better, but I'm going to do it, eat it together. I only had, as far as I remember, I only had one, one, the, the, one of these um, even media ones like, like a couple weeks ago. So this is my second time trying it to really absorb uh, how good it tastes. And the original burger, I've been eating it for like a while now. I don't know how many I had. Sometimes it's so good, like I just eat it without the bread. I never did that with regular meat. But it, you know, when I used to have that years and years and years ago. And um, so it this, this goes to shock what this is. Okay, here we go. Yeah, it came out really good. I got cupped it just right. I don't think it's, you know, yeah, it's nice and done well in the middle. If you can see it, I think it's done just right. It came out nice. I'm going to try the media one. I'll show you what it looks like again before I put it. That's the media one. And I'm going to, here we go. And what I've done is a different taste, but it's sort of still good. It just tastes like more beef or whatever else. And you like you know, they put cheap ingredients in it. It's not as good as this. I would like I said, I think in another vlog I said I give the Beyond Burger, the original one, four out of five stars. I'll go with that far. I say it's, it's an excellent burger. And this, if if I'm I'll be lenient to say three and a half stars. It could be three to three and a half stars like that. Depends on the price. Someone else might say, oh, this is the better tasty one. Like, I think the ones people that eat 
they'll love meat, they'll say this is much, much better. I think, anyway. But, I mean, it's still acceptable. The thing is, I don't can't believe that they won't make the original one all, anymore for whatever reasons. Because I guess they don't just have the money to keep up with it or the manpower or, you know. And, the, you know, the workers in the company to help continue to both, both to continue to make both bur uh, Beyond Burgers. But it's still lost because, I mean, I don't know if I'll be getting this as much as I, I, like I would get the original burgers, but I'll still be getting them. But, I mean, I won't, like, really, really get them like the way I did. But it's still good, like, you know, who's going to really complain that much about it? Yeah, that was the, the, the even media one again. It tastes good, you know, don't get me wrong. Like, if you put delicious tomatoes on his lettuce and the ketchup, it'll complement it. And you, who's going to really complain? But, I mean, it's not, like I said, it's not as good as that one. And with someone else, maybe, they'll say it's any tastier. But in my opinion, they should have sell both, both burgers, if you ask me. That's... You know, because I like the original one better without a doubt, and I think four out of five people will say they want the original, if you ask me. Uh, I mean, I don't know, maybe I write to them one day, say, look, listen, you got to write, you got to make the original one again. And they'll probably say no, but who knows. They used to make the, the Beyond Meat, Beyond Sausage, the sweet ones, they stopped making them just to make, you know, to make other varieties of meat. And they, and they got, like I told like you probably know many, many of you know. They have like two varieties of Beyond Meat, Beyond Sausage. Like, what is it? Um, the um, Bratwurst, right? And um, the, the hot Italian sausage and the sweet one. And I guess they got rid of the ones that, pe that people didn't buy, buy that much of. And they kept uh, the Bratwurst and the hot sausage, which people probably bought the most of, which was a good idea. But this, 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 this was not a good idea to give up the original burger, if you ask me. That was wrong to do. So I'm going to eat this. This is the media one now. I mean, it's it's all right. I mean, like it, like you, you eat it. The I mean, in my opinion, those people that don't like it, they'll probably eat it again. Those I mean, some people may not like it at all, but those who say, you know, it's it's, it's it's good but not great like this one, they'll eat it. But then I can eat like two or two in one shot the way they want to do enjoy it. It'll get on the nerves. And other people, like you know, may say they love it. They may eat three and four in one shot, so I don't know. But I mean, if the Impossible Burger is supposed to be coming out sometime this year, and I'll give that a try. If I like it better, I'm not going to even get these. And if, like I said, they had the original uh, Beyond Burger, still, the, of course I would get that still, without a doubt. But I don't know why they had to go cheaper just to save money uh, or whatever it is, or maybe they'll get more people to buy it by going cheaper. It's, uh, you know, it's it's good. Don't get me wrong, like you know, if but it's not as good as the this one, the original Beyond Meat Beyond Burger, which I'm about to eat again. You know, I tell I tell people about this. You got to give it a try. It's really good. I even write in in other uh, on comments and other people's. YouTube that told, you know they're looking for beyond I mean not, you know we're looking for vegan burgers and so on so give that a try it's really delicious but you know being that I didn't make this I don't know if I'm gonna even recommend it that much 
And you might say, you, you know, it's not as good. I probably say it's not as good as the original. And you may, uh, I'll say, oh, you probably may, you may like it better than the original, but I don't know. I gotta warn people like, oh, it's not as good as the other one. So if you don't like it, I can understand. But some people may even like it better, like I said. So this is the the new not media one. I'm trying eating again. I wonder though, like um, the Bear Burger restaurants and uh, Carl Jr.'s, if they're selling the, th this one or the original ones still, I wonder about that. Couple weeks ago, I had um, the Beyond Burger from um, from Bear Burger, and, and, and you know, you, you know, when you get something from a um, franchise restaurant, it doesn't taste good like the one you when you make it at home. I was wondering if it was the now medium one. That's why I didn't like it as much. But um, so that's why I couldn't tell if it's just because of the way they make it and the quality, that you know, and the grease they put it in, they ruin everything, or is it just because it's it's the one I don't like too much. I can't tell. But it was all right. It wasn't bad. I got a, I did a review on it. If you look on, look, look for it in my vlogs, uh, you know, the Beyond Burger from, from Bear Burger. It was all right. But it, the one, I mean, this is much, this is better than the one in, in Bear Burger. But, um, it's like, it's not that far. It's not, not much better, but it's much better. Like I would say, the one from Bear Burger is like a fair. And this one, I would say, I give it three and a half stars. From will, you know, I'll be, be lenient and say three and a half stars. And you could possibly someone else say three stars. But three, three and a half stars, I give it like that. But like I said, the original uh, Beyond Burger, Beyond Meat, is four stars. I'll give it that. It's got, I gotta give it that. It's good. Four, uh, four stars. I mean, I don't think there's no, uh, um, no food in the world. I, maybe there are a few. That I'll give five stars to. So this is like no top, the, the original Beyond Burger. Yeah, it's pretty good, it's not bad, but you know. It's not like something I'll be looking forward for, but uh, it's still acceptable. Like, it's not like, oh, you're not going to never eat it again. It's one of those burgers, again, or, you know, you won't care about eating it again for like another month. Like with some of the other vegan foods. But the original burger, I, you know, if I had two, I had one today, I, I could have another one tomorrow or next day or whenever. Like, you know, that's the burger you go after. And I, had it, and, and I don't know why, like I said, they, they they cheapened the ingredients for us. so people could afford afford it more. I don't know. I don't know why they did it. Tell you the truth. I mean, I knew, like you know, how good food used. To, I mean. People that, like, you know, years ago when they, they bought cookies and cakes and how good the food really was, and to, in today's world, it got cheaper. Like, I, I knew, for, you know, they'll eventually, somewhere along, they're going to make the Beyond Burger. Someone's going to someone's gonna buy the company over and, 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 and screw, screw the ingredients or something like that. But I didn't think they were going to do it this soon. But like I said, it's not that bad. It's just, it's not as good as the original. I just wish it didn't happen so soon. It's not bad though, like, you know, it starts to grow on you more and more, so you might enjoy it. 
enjoy it as it goes on. This is my second time I've eaten this burger, the even meaty one. The original burger I've been having for, I don't know how long, I forgot. Maybe um, two years now, and I can't remember it. It's a complete lost track. But when I first ate it, I couldn't believe how good it was. The thing here is the original burger had a stink to it. Most many people don't like it. it had it's one so it smells like dog food. All right, I'm not gonna say it with it. But um, when it, when it's done, done, it didn't smell like it didn't have, you know, uh, that smell to it. Or it didn't taste like dog food. It just it tastes like a good, real good burger. But this one, the uh, the new medium one, don't have that smell like that. You gotta have to give it to them. It, that's the that's the difference between this and the original burger. At least this don't have the smell on it from when I'm from when I'm when I'm making it. When I put it first, when it starts, starts, starts to cook, I don't smell it. So that's the, that's the good thing about this burger. I think people should start writing, everybody should start writing to the company, Beyond Meat, that, you know, bring it back the original burger. If not, they're not making it, you got to keep writing to them. Says, look, bring this back. It, it's, you know, it's not right. It tasted good. You shouldn't take, it, take that away from the people. And they don't do it. Don't buy it. But, I mean, like I said, this is still, you know, it's still good, the, the, the even meaty one, but it's not as good as that one. I, was, I said that, like, how many times already? Once I'm, I still have the original, like, few packages left in the freezer. And once I'm out of them, that's it. I won't, I won't be able to get it no more, as far as I know. And so this is the original Beyond Burger, Beyond Meat. I'm going to finish this off. And um, it's like, a, like, I never, when, you know, some people you can't eat meat without the uh, bun on it because they don't like it that much. Uh, you have to put ketchup and this and that. This, there's times I eat it. Ate it without the bun. That's how good it was. I just say, uh, let's say I made two. I made one with a bun, and one without the bun. That's how good it was to me. But, I mean, when I first eat, I started eating this, I wanted to, I only ate one because I don't want to eat two, thinking it was gonna get them turn up, turn up. The taste buds was gonna turn on me, like uh, I was gonna make it, like they're gonna throw it up or something. But it wasn't the case. I ended up eating two at times, and and, and it still tasted just as good. So it was a good, it was a good idea that, that beyond me, me made this uh, this burger and not getting rid of it. I did the ve vegan White Castle veggie slider. That was pretty good. They come usually, this, the one I just showed you, they come four together, two in it, and wrapped them in the same package. And I just, I'm just made one because between these two burgers and that, that's all I could really eat. But on um, the, the vegan White Castle veggie sliders, I, I think it's worth getting. I mean, they're, they're really good when it's done. Good. Hi, I ran out of space. I get rid of some of the videos. And um, I just got to go now. And I want to thank you for listening to my, uh, my view on the Beyond Burgers and the Veggie Boy Castle. And I just wanted to say, um, comment on the bottom if you know if they're going to make the original burger anymore from Beyond Meat. And thank you for listening. And remember, always think positive. Bye for now.